Down here on the streets of Cairo, it's a busy, noisy, cosmopolitan city. But up here, on the city's rooftops, it's a quieter world. Egyptians use this space for water tanks, satellite dishes, even goats. And instead of throwing away their rubbish, they reuse it. Cairo went green a long time ago. One person who has helped to develop recycling in Cairo is Thomas Taha Kalhane. He's been helping some Egyptians build solar-powered water heaters on their roofs. These heaters are partly made out of recycled rubbish. People will come to this community and they'll look on the rooftops and they'll say, why is there so much trash on the roofs? But if you talk to the homeowners, they'll say, what trash? I'm saving this for the future when I can figure out a good way to use it. So there is no trash. And that is, I think, the message that uh, inner city Cairo and the informal communities of Cairo have for the world. Forget this idea that there's garbage. One man's garbage is another's gold mine. The water heaters use Egypt's great natural resource, the sunshine. Oh, you're good. Hey, you are good. You know what you're at? 39.9 degrees. Whoa, whoa. The solar panels heat up the water, and this gives a family a lot of hot water. This is a handmade solar hot water system. The system is made out of local recycled materials and garbage. It shows how cheaply you can make hot water from renewable energy. The new heaters provide hot water and reduce energy costs. As Colhane says, one man's garbage is another man's gold mine. 